what free will is, is, oh, you're given these attributes, what you choose to do with it. Because that's inspiring as hell. But all that happened is they lucked out that that part of their brain happened to be good at what was needed to beat enormous odds against them. Okay, so this is where it starts to get problematic with psychology and the approaches to self-betterment and self-improvement. Essentially, what we're talking about with the, the term of self there can be entirely dissolved when we start to consider the idea of free will not being existent. This is why we have to be very careful about how we apply what science and philosophy show us and a lot of the approaches that I'm seeing now coming from the solely prognostic approach. So the idea is that you've been given a diagnostic label and you want to be able to tell yourself that you can indeed do your best to work with it or eliminate it. So in the way that Sapolsky just described this, unfortunately, there is the potential for people to absorb that and consider themselves to be one of those people that just wasn't lucky enough to get those genes that were the pull yourself up by your bootstraps genes or whatever, and thus I must submit to the whims of my neurochemistry.